and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On him in today, and as you can see right here, just this second finished, we're doing potato and cauliflower curry, or aloo gobi. This is more of a dry kind of fry. I mean, it has got, of course, some liquid in there, but it's pretty dry, a pretty dry version. We're gonna fry the potatoes first with some lovely spices, and I'm really happy to kind of get a little bit of brownness on them. I don't want to kind of bland boiled vegetables. That's why I like to kind of fry them, actually, you know, like, you know, like fries in a way, like French fries. But yeah, really simple, really tasty, healthy, vegan, vegetarian. Let's go do it. Okay, let's get straight in on this one. I've got a pan, as you can see, with some oil in it. I'm using sunflower oil today. You could, if you wanted, use a different type of oil, maybe a coconut oil or a sesame oil or you know, anything, really. It's up to you. This is pretty kind of straight type of oil. We're going to start off by adding some whole garam masala or seeds. So I've got a little bit of dried red chilli and then today I'm using cumin seeds and black mustard seeds. We just need to get them into that oil and as you can see maybe they're just starting to cook a little bit. We just want to infuse that oil, give these just a few seconds just to do their thing. Then we're going to go in with our potatoes. Now I've got my raw potatoes there. Some people parboil their potatoes sometimes and then put them in but I'm just going to go raw today so I've peeled them, washed them and sort of cut them into sort of bite-sized pieces that's doing great right in these go and we're going to cook these for about four minutes on a kind of above medium heat let's just give these potatoes a nice head start So as you can see, we've got a nice little kind of bit of browning as we fried those potatoes, just to give them a little head start. So obviously they're much harder than the cauliflower we're going to be using. We're now going to go in with some onions. I'm using a white onion. You could use red, of course, no problem. And then here I've got some garlic ginger paste, 50-50 mix of finely minced garlic and ginger. So one, about two of those in there. really going to give it some lovely flavour. Let's get some salt in at the moment now. A bit there now. Now I'm going to add some powders. Now this is uh, green cardamom powder. It's a tiny amount. It's very strong. Then equal parts here of chilli powder, turmeric and coriander powder. And as I always say, if you wanted, you could just use your favorite curry powder that you have mixed already. I just prefer to go this way. So again, on this, you know, fairly lively heat, let's go for about another two to three minutes. Loving this, this is really coming on nicely. That time we got some of our cauliflower in. Again, I'm going in raw. Some people, again, just steam it or parboil it. For me, no need at all. And we just need to throw this around in the pan. Because of the size I've cut this, we can just do this for about another three to four minutes. Keep it moving all the time now. We don't want this to burn. Okay, so we're just throwing this around. Still really quite firm, but I like that we're getting a little bit of colour on this. Really dry. Now we need to add some bit of moisture to this. So I'm going to go in with some sliced tomatoes. And a little dash of water to steam it out just a little bit.
four minutes on this high heat again, stirring all the time. This is really going to bring it together now. Now, as you can see, those tomatoes have broken down mostly and give us a nice little bit of moisture in there, nice little gravy or masala. I'm just going to pop in, optional, I'm just going to pop in a bit of fresh green chilli. You obviously don't have to do that if you don't want to. Now what we're looking for is to make sure that our potatoes are now cooked and tender. So I'm pressing on that one. He just needs a few more minutes. And also I want to dry this out again now. Just a little bit, I mean not completely, but let's just get a little bit more moisture out of this because I want this fairly dry, this one. So keep stirring. It's going to be like another just two to three minutes just to, until our potatoes are really nice and tender. Okay, off goes the heat there. I kind of like that little bit of gravy in there, but it's mostly dry. I mean, it's like I say, it's not swimming around in a big sauce. Check that for salt, guys. You might want to add a bit more. I'm now going to add a little bit here of garam masala powder. If you wanted cilantro or coriander fresh in there, it would be beautiful or maybe some fresh mint. Today I'm just going with the garam masala powder only. And there we go. Really quite straightforward. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?